Ah, it's a beautiful sound. Now, push down. We will shoot the 410. I saw a piece of wood go. <laughs> I saw a piece of wood come off. <laughs> That's not good. Hey everybody, Raw Hog here. Today we're talking about survival and survival rifles. So, one of the most important things in a pack, of course, waterproof matches. It's got some Vienna sausages. One's for nutrients. Two cans in case you have a parasite that needs flushed out. And of course, waterproof kitchen tablets. And there's a lot more in here, but let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. This is the M6 takedown from TPS Arms from Mesquite, Texas. So, as you can see, fitting in a pretty small, pretty small pouch. It's a pretty nice package if you want to come in here and take a look at this. This thing is very nice. If you look here, you have your storage and your stock. You have your four tens, four tens and your 22s. Of course, you, have, you can put shorts in there. Uh, you can put the regular size ones. Um, they have a little lip here. If you want to come in close, I don't know if you can see. They have a little lip, a left one there, so you can it holds it up, so you can easily pick them up. Very nice, and that's the same way with the shotguns. Two and three quarters. It has a little, and then you have your three inches. Three, it'll hold three inches. Gun will, will take three inch. So, very nice package. Has a, uh, I say that on everything, but has a nice, nice uh, little storage area for ammo. You can put more uh, storage in there. You could put some little fish hooks, maybe some fishing line. I don't know. Uh, get creative there. Um, some of these tablets could go in there. Uh, it's a nice stock. I will show you a picture. It was wrapped in uh, paracord. Uh, so this whole thing was wrapped. It was it was pretty neat. Uh, the guy did a fine job. So if you open it up here, if you can see in here, you get your 22s on top, 410 on the bottom, and a nice, good click. I don't know if you can, if you can see down here, it has your regular sight and then of course your peep sight. So it's locked in there. You can switch in between. Uh, the end, the the front side has been painted, so pretty nice. I think it's pretty accurate with the peep side. Uh, and then how you shoot this thing is, of course, and it has a safety. You can see it's, uh, you know, obviously red for fire. Um, but once it's cocked, it's unloaded now. But to shoot the 22, you pull that up, and then the hammer will hit the firing pin on the 22 in the upper, and then in the lower, it will hit, push it down to hit the. Uh, Shotgun shell the 410. Now you can't shoot 45 long cold out of this. It comes with uh, it comes with a full choke, I believe. Uh, and the gentleman's that this is, it uh, he put a modified in there so we could shoot slugs. So uh, we're gonna give it a little bit of a go here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my ears on, ears on, and my glasses on. on barn. Take a few shots here. Open it up, 410, shoot the slug out of that one, and putting that in the top, good to go. We'll shoot the uh, 22 first, so let's get a target. Ah, it's a beautiful sound. Now, push down, we will shoot the 410. And it does, it hits the, uh, hits them pretty good. So pull that out, shells come out. Ah, I love that smell. So anyways, this is, I think this is modeled after the, what is it, the Springfield Scout. Uh, they look pretty similar. And uh, you know, this is a real good survival rifle. You know, you could break it down, uh, put it in a pack, put it in a backpack, take it with you. And I mean, who knows what may happen, um, you know, Keep you out of uh keep you out of some trouble so we'll show what it looks like with the uh pair all right only about you know 30 yards whatever it was um but all of them hit pretty close uh using the peep side so 
thing is definitely reasonable for survival anyways. So on this gun, uh, if you look here, I've started to take this off, but I wanted to show you just so you can see what it originally looks like, but it's been wrapped in, uh, you know, paracord. So anyways, just, uh, just to show you what you can do to add a little bit, uh, this stuff is very useful. So we're going to take that off and let you see what the original looks like. So, all right. So you saw the paracord. We unwrapped it. I mean, that looked, this stuff is very useful in survival situations for many things, but that's quite a bit <laughs> that was wrapped around there and it gave it a good grip. Um, and you can cut it off, you know, as you need it in a survival situation. So anyways, as you can see here on the ammo, um, it has several options. You know, it can, you know, in the stock, you can put your three inch, you know, it's got slugs. This is a defender round uh, with the pl copper plates. And then of course you get your 22 and your 22 shorts. Now I didn't mention this, this gun, of course, this is the 22 and the 410. This one, it comes in all 410s up to three inch. And then on the bottom and then on the top, it's it's got 22, 22 Magnum Hornet, uh, 22 Hornet, 17 HMR, and 357 Mag. So um, it's a pretty good, uh, you know, you've got a lot of options there. Now, MSRP on these, I think they're around 600 off the website. Um, and they've gone up quite a bit. I think you can get them more reasonably around 400. They used to be better than that, but with all this going on and supplies and stuff, it's getting kind of tough. But um, I will read some of the some of the specs here uh the overall overall length is 32 uh, and a quarter inches um a crisp trigger pull we'll give you a close look on that it's drilled and trap for uh <laughs> drilled and tap for sling swivels um and of course we talked about most of it um the wrench it comes with a wrench and a full there's a full choke included uh, i think he switched to modified i believe i said that earlier uh, but if you want to come in here real close we can take a look at this trigger trigger's a little bit uh a little bit different um safety's on is, is just a little bit different than, than you're, you're used to or i am anyways you can pull it back here or just do a whole whole pull there but i usually go like that and it was it was doing pretty well for me so uh, i had somebody ask on the, we did a short on this and they were wanting to check out the uh check out the trigger so it's pretty pretty unique so anyways went over the calibers um, we've got a target set up here. I'm going to go ahead and put my ears on. We're going to shoot a little bit longer. That's about 55 yards. So we're going to oops, put in a 22. If you want to come around here and then try the slug again. So up for the 22. Oh, I heard it hit. I do want to show you this. Oh, they brought that down and they put it on safety. If uh, you can see here the flip side, I didn't mention this. Uh, it says 22 on it. Can you see that there? It actually says 22 on the flip side up here. Um, and then for the slugs, you flip it up and it has the, it says 410 on it. So I thought that was pretty neat. And this hammer, once it's in safety, I mean, it won't, you can't cock it or do anything with it. Um, so, all right, got it on safety. Let me just double check here. All right. Push it down. Ah, let's see if I can hit this. Hey, just a quick intermission here so as you'll see as the video continues i shot a couple rounds we just shot it a few times and it was right on well i moved it to 55 yards which was pretty uh you know pretty bold if i do say so so shot the hell out of my stand you'll see that a little bit later but i had to shoot some today i was like i just can't let it end at that so shot it a couple more times a little bit better slug quality slugs and as you can see uh you know hit one pretty good and then i get off to the right a little bit um you know and again a little bit of practice I'm free handing it with, you know, an 18 and a half, I think, inch barrel. Um, so definitely not the gun. All right, we're going to get back to the video. Uh, but just know at the end of this, <laughs> you know, it, it can perform better. So it's on this guy. Right, let's try this. Uh, let's try this slug here. I saw a piece of wood. go. <laughs> I saw a piece of wood come off. <laughs> That's not good, folks. But, ooh. But uh, with a little practice, 
this thing will work fine. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this stand. I know I hit it. <laughs> Not my best outing. <laughs> uh, that's what happens on the uh, first shots. Start to stretch it a little bit. Um, so uh, I'll show the target on the other one. I mean, that's 35 yards and that it was pretty tight. I don't know. This is about 55 yards, a little change. Um, you know, shooting it here, you can see the holes. <laughs> I don't know. I just, and the ammo wasn't the best. I mean, not to, you know, do what I do, make excuses. I'm just saying, you look at the table, you can see the rust on that 1410. Um, trying to use up some of the other 22s, you know, fairly decent. Um, but, you know, you start stretching out there, you know, 55, that's not getting crazy. Uh, but, you know, we're pushing a little bit. And with a little bit of practice, of course, you know, you can, you can hone back in, you know, just, like I said, these are our first shots. We shot the steel at about 35, I think it was. God, I can't remember now what that is, but that was about 55. So, of course, I love blowing up my stands. Those are great, great days. So, uh, all in all, real nice package, a nice little survival rifle. Uh, the stock, everything seems to be nice, you know, holding everything. And uh, you can add the paracord and just stuff like that, a little bit of storage in there. Uh, to do what uh, what you need to do. So anyways, uh, if you found any value out of this review, please go down and subscribe, hit the notifications bell, because you know what you like. You like it raw. <laughs>